So far, we've covered the multimedia and the modality principles. If you haven't watched those two videos, I might recommend doing that now. And I bet you're excited to start developing. You're probably planning your next project and thinking how you're going to use great graphics plus awesome narration, as well as some text on screen, and maybe a little more text on this slide just to make sure the learners get the idea. Plus, maybe some extra text because you really don't have anything else to put there. Hold up. You can go too far. And that's better known as the redundancy principle, which teaches us that less really does equal more. Richard Mayer and his colleagues found you can quickly go overboard when using graphics, text, and narration at the same time, which actually hurts learning. This overload of redundant information overwhelms your brain because you're trying to read, see, and listen all at the same time. This competition for attention reduces your brain's ability to process and ultimately remember new information. Let's dial it back a little and see what makes for good e-learning and what goes too far. The redundancy principle teaches us to eliminate redundant information in any format. This includes deleting on-screen text when you have narration that's reading those words. In our animation of the Big Dipper in the night sky, we'd get rid of the on-screen text that says, the Big Dipper is made up of seven bright stars, and the brightest star in the Big Dipper is Alioth, because the narration is already covering this information. We'll leave the names of the stars on screen as a visual trigger because they work with the narration, not against it, which is the modality principle. The redundancy principle doesn't mean you have to eliminate all on-screen text when you add narration. It just means you have to be smart about what you add. Putting an on-screen title on this page, using text to draw attention to the star names, or even adding brightest star along with a gigantic arrow pointing to Alioth doesn't compete for your attention it actually reinforces what you're learning. Basically, the redundancy principle tells us you should exclude large blocks of text if you're already using graphics or animation and narration. If your topic is highly complicated or technical, or if you have few graphics and animations, then you can consider putting some on-screen text back on the screen. The redundancy principle isn't a black and white rule. It's a subjective interpretation of on-screen action that you'll learn to recognize with time. Just remember that having less on screen isn't necessarily a bad idea. Knowing what should be on screen and what should be left off makes for impactful and effective e-learning. Mm -hmm.